Good morning. Today's a very special day. It's a good Friday. Um, I'm going to take a minute to explain what that means. It, uh, to me, it's probably one of the better holidays. Um, it's something that happened a long time ago, but it's still very pertinent to our lives today. We're going to look in the book of Matthew. We'll be in chapter 27 this morning. And a little bit of a background before we read this. Um, before Christ, before Jesus stepped onto the earth, uh, before he was in flesh and he lived his life and was sacrificed for us, the only way for a human to talk to God was through a priest. They had to um, they had to go through different kinds of um, sacrifices and different ways of making sure they were clean. They had to be there was very very strict regulations for them to enter what was called the temple and to go into the place where they call the holiest of holies, where they they expected God to reside. Um, interesting thought about that is between that temple, between the holiest of holies and the outside world, there was a, a thick veil. And that veil was supposed to separate uh, between us and God. So <clears throat> a little bit of background before we read. It'll make more sense. We'll start in verse 51. It says, And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split. This is the verse right after Jesus died right after he was hung on the cross and he gave up his spirit. It says the veil was torn, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's huge. That's it's everything. The what separated us from God was split in two. Now of course, just because the veil was torn doesn't mean we get to interact with God. It's actually the fact that Christ was a sacrifice, that he atoned for our sins and that we were able to be forgiven for our sins and thus we can interact with God. We can have that relationship with Him. Um, it's symbolic that the veil was torn, but it's absolutely everything about us and our relationship with God. That Jesus Christ, when He died, that veil was torn. Those sins were forgiven. We were able to enter into a relationship with God. So that's why Good Friday is so stinking good, because of what Christ did for us on that cross. It may not have been the best. It's a really gruesome story, and it's awful to have to imagine. But the result of it is good. Good Friday. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all tomorrow.